Starting November 5, IATF has placed the National Capital Region, or NCR, under Alert Level 2. What does this mean? What businesses and activities are now allowed to operate and take place? Stay tuned and watch the video to know more. Welcome to Denzi TV. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive updates as they are posted. On November 4, the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, or IATF, released the guidelines on the implementation of alert level system for COVID-19 response in pilot areas. In this document, alert level 2 is defined as areas where in case transmission is low and decreasing, healthcare utilization is low, or case counts are low but increasing, or case counts are low and decreasing but total bed utilization rate and intensive care unit utilization rate is increasing. Let's take a look at the protocols under this alert level. Under Alert Level 2, intrazonal and interzonal movement shall be allowed. However, reasonable restrictions may be imposed by the LGUs, which should not be stricter as those prescribed under higher alert levels and subject to the oversight, monitoring, and evaluation of the respective regional IATF. Casinos, horse racing, cockfighting, and operation of cockpits, lottery and betting shops, and other gaming establishments shall not be allowed to operate or be undertaken in areas classified under Alert Level 2 except as may be authorized by the IATF or the Office of the President. Establishments or activities shall be allowed to operate or be undertaken at a maximum of 50% indoor venue capacity for fully vaccinated individuals and those below 18 years of age even if unvaccinated and 70% outdoor venue capacity for all provided that all workers, employees of these establishments are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and a minimum public health standard shall be strictly maintained. Here's a list of establishments and activities allowed to operate or be undertaken under Alert Level 2. Venues for meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions. Permitted venues for social events such as parties, wedding receptions, birthday parties, wedding anniversaries, and the like. Visitor or tourist attractions such as libraries, archives, museums, galleries, and the like. Amusement parks or theme parks. Recreational venues such as internet cafes, billiard halls, amusement arcades, bowling alleys, and similar venues. Cinemas and movie houses. We also have limited face-to-face -face or in-person classes for basic education, subject to prior approval of the Office of the President, limited face-to-face -face or in-person classes for higher education, in-person religious gatherings that includes gatherings for necrological services, wakes, inurnment, and funerals for those who died of causes other than COVID-19 and for the cremains of the COVID-19 disease. Licensure or qualifying exams, dine-in services of food preparation establishments, personal care establishments such as barber shops, nail spas, hair salons, and others, fitness studios, gyms, and venues for individual non-contact exercise and sports, film, music, and television production, contact sports approved by the LGU, fun fairs, ferias, or kid amusement industries such as playgrounds, playroom, and kiddie rides. Venues with live voice or wind instrument performers and audiences such as karaoke bars, clubs, concert halls, and theaters. And lastly, gatherings in residences with individuals not belonging to the same household. And lastly, agencies and instrumentalities of the government shall remain to be fully operational and shall adhere to at least 50% on-site capacity while applying work from home and other flexible work arrangements. And that's our quick update for today. Stay tuned for more updates from this channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you find the content of this channel valuable, remember to subscribe. Feel free to check out the other videos as well.